Hello the internet, my name's Laura and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, today we are on a field trip. That's right! I have gone to Roanoke. I had to pick something up and so I decided to stop by Greenbrier, um, which I don't go to very often because it is in Roanoke, which is like an hour away. But I'm here now and I'm gonna hope that they have something. One of the times I was here they had a whole bunch. One of the times I was here they had like virtually nothing. And then one of the times I was here they had kind of some stuff. So because it's spring I'm hoping that they just have a whole bunch of stuff. So we're just gonna have to see. Okay, let's see. We're walking up to the front. They've, all, they've got such nice landscaping. Not that it's gorgeous right now because of the... It's not quite good yet. Or it's still not spring. Or it's kind of spring. Alright, walk in. Cute little cactuses. And there's the going reception. Oh, lovely, lovely. Now look, another red kiss that I did so horribly with. Kind of cute though. Hi, what are you? Mm -hmm. 20 bucks for that though. Let's see. Oh, wrap it up for you. San Severia. And some more. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. That's so dark. It's like maroon with... Oh, it actually shows up better on the camera. Maroon with the black. I really do like that. I think I might have to get one of those. I might have to get that one, in fact. There's an S-card, though, but I've never really been that interested in those. Yeah, I think I'm going to pick this guy up now. Nobody else picks it up. <laughs> they got a couple little guys down here. Kit Kat. Um, but I just got one of those from my friend, so I'm, I'm having one of those before too long. Let's get a closer look at these guys while I'm down here. That one's kind of pretty there, but... <laughs> Alright, we have some more fiddles. Got solids. Oh, they have Birkins. Hello, adorable little Birkins. If I didn't already have one of you, I would probably pick one up. I think they're... Let's see. Oh no, that's not it. $16.99? Not great, but not terrible. Plus, there's like a number of plants in there. It's not just the one. So you can see that there's a couple of plants in there. Ooh, we got bulbs. I think I'm just gonna stick with the ones that I have for right now, though. Um, all right, we're working our way around. Oh. Some really tall cane begonias for 60 bucks. And some monsteras that are definitely a little water, They've got some water spots on them. Big pot. That's yeah, that's a big pot. <laughs> and then they've got some terracotta pods. They're bird of paradise here. Some more fiddles. Let's see. Have all-purpose potting mix. I don't think I need any soil right now. I wonder what's different about their African violet mix. I wonder if my plant would be better in that. I don't know. 
Oh, activated charcoal is something I was looking around for, though. What's it actually do? Absorbs water impurities. Reduces the effects of overwatering. Really now. I don't know. We'll think about it. Oh, they have the sphagnum moss that I have here too. I like that stuff. Alright, uh, what do we got? We got some calatheas over here. Looking a little looking a little dry on the edges there. So cute. And that looks like a yeah. A tiny rapid of four. Oh, actually it's not that tiny. They have a bunch of rapid fours here. That's a Christmas cactus. I guess maybe they're um Easter cactuses around this time of year. I don't know. I could never tell. We've got some more of them up here. They've got some beautiful little sun stress on. Look at the edges on that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, back around. Oh, they have some terracotta that is not terracotta colored. Those are always cool. $6.99 is a little expensive for terracotta pot, though. Oh, I like that bowl because it's blue. I don't know what I would put in that, but... Oh, that's kind of cute with a little hanging. Okay, what do we got over here? Some dead stuff, some African violets. Not looking so great over here, guys. It looks like you haven't watered. Hmm. Cactus section. Hello, cactuses. Beautiful. Hey, that one, that one kind of looks like my one that I have only older. You guys know what I'm talking about. My hand is cramping. Okay, I'm repositioning the camera. There we go. That's kind of interesting. You can't tell if that's alive still or not, though, because it's kind of not looking good. I don't know. Adorable cactus. Adorable cactuses. Big plants. Some larger succulents. That oh, is kind of interesting looking. What's this? Itty bitties. That is. That's kind of a weird shape there. Is it focusing? Yeah, yeah look. It's like. Hmm. Oh, ooh, what is that? Ooh. Hmm. Well, whatever that is, they got a variegated one in there. Don't think it's worth it, though. Okay, my begonia that I'm just carrying around with me. Some lovely aloes, telling Koei. Um, there's some more jades up here. Oh, I got one of these guys. I have one of these at home. It's not quite so big, but um, more succulents, some nice cute little strings of pearls. Some more cacti. Oh, these ones look like they're, um, some of these are, look like they're flowering. Blue, blue cactus club, hashtag blue cactus club. I kind of like these ones with the, um, the pink spikes on the top and then that, that one there with the little red. I like the colored, I like colored spines like that. Um, Okay, I think we're going to stop and go behind us so I don't forget about all this. Got some ferns. 
Oh man, I want a water feature like this one day. The water comes out here and pours down on there. Um, all right, so we got Curtiscanthia. There's some Dracaena, Ivy. We're gonna probably add in Sonii, looking a little rough there. Um, cute little Fetonias. Very nice looking Aloe. Denium. Those are much, much larger than mine. But mine's getting big. It's, it's not pretty big. It's getting there. So, and some more peperomias, some more calanchoes. Oh, look, they had some bulbs over there. And it went ahead and flowered while it was in there. <laughs> okay, back over here. Okay, so this is where we turned. Oh, that's got some lovely color on it. I had one of those lavender scallops. I ended up getting annoyed with it and letting it die. Um, oh, okay. They got some little... There's a string of dolphins there. Um, I think that's a ruby heart. I might be wrong. Um, string of teardrops. And then these guys, I'm not sure what they are, but they have a nice... Um, Sandapsus sargerius, not Sandap. This is um, Silvery Ann. That big? It's a nice big leaf. They're kind of in rough shape. And yeah, they're 40 bucks. I not 40 bucks for that. So that's okay though. Okay. Um, grab my begonia again. Um, they have some, I think those are tuber begonias. Very lovely. Oh, Ficus Konecki and some more begonias over here. Looks like most of the same ones that they have over there. Oh, I just missed, I missed this whole table. Okay, we're gonna have to go around this whole table. Tiny little Pylea peperomioides. They got more Birkins and they have some Calathea orbifolias. Man, this Birkins, yeah. Just because so many of they have so many in there. Oh, this one's flat. Oh, these are flowering. Isn't that cute? Not the most spectacular flowers in the world. Um, Staghorn fern. It's pretty big. I guess these are little um, terrarium plants. Kind of cute. Uh, African or uh, Alocasia poly. All right. And here's some. Other begonias. This is the only one I'm. Kind of nice. I wish I wish there was a little bit more black in there. Like the fact that it's mo it's mostly red. I don't know. I'm still I'm really enjoying this guy. <laughs> really enjoying this guy. All right. Hi, Am. Thank you so much. Alright, we got some nice ferns over here. And I love her hydrangeas. Not really indoor plants, but I do love hydrangeas. Oh, they got a ficus Audrey? Does it look like a ficus Audrey to you? I think it looks like a ficus Audrey to me. It's probably going to be really expensive to get those. Oops. Oh wow, that's not as expensive as I was expecting. Still not the, a plant that I want to have to try and take care of. This little guy is vining all the way up there. He's making a run for it. Alright, some more African violets here. Beautiful begonias again. Bigger Padlia. Smaller ones here. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty flowers. <laughs> wow. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Oh, I like the 
wait for that one. I oh, know, I like the leaves that are kind of interesting too. I think I'm just going to stick with this one that I got. <laughs> okay, and then some bigger monstera that I probably missed on my way over. Tiny little bird's nest ferns. Tiny. Crispy wave fern. It's more than I'm going to pay, though. Okay, and then we've got some more monstera over here. Oh, and I think I missed this middle table here. We've got some more calatheas. Oh, they have a calathea macayana. Maybe I should ask Laura if she wants one. if it's a decent price. I have no idea. It's a little expensive. It's bigger than the one I have, though. It's not a, you know what? Technically, that's not a horrible price. I might have to let my friends know um, because she was looking at mine and really kind of liked it. And this is one of the easier Calathea to take care of, the Makoyana. Um, I think the rattlesnakes actually are pretty easy, too, but that one is pretty easy. So I think I will let her know about that. And I think that's pretty it for a nice little overview of our beautiful thing without getting any people in it because I don't, there's people over there and I don't want to have them on camera if they don't want to be in camera. So, oh, isn't that pretty right there in the middle? Yay! <laughs> okay, um, so I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I'm back at home. Um, I actually went to i might have mentioned i don't remember if i mentioned um i'm doing another video that's going to be going up after this one that i went to a lowe's and a home depot after i went to lowe's and home depot i went to another nursery that's in the area um called townside gardens and townside gardens is just very small inside like it's just a very small place and they have very, they have staff, obviously. So <laughs> there's really nowhere that I can be in there that I'm very far away from staff. And um, I just, I don't, I just don't feel comfortable like talking when there's going to be people that I know can overhear me, especially since that place tends to be rather expensive. So a lot of my discussion is, oh, I just saw this place, this plant in another place for like, 10 or $15 less. <laughs> Not really what you want. But anyway, I did get a plant from them. Um, and I'll explain that when I when I get to that one. But um, okay, so the reason that I went to Roanoke today is that I was on Facebook group and I saw this guy. Um, somebody was offering this for $30 with these marbles that it's supposed to be a fish tank because I was looking for a fish tank for something for humidity, right? Um, and I saw this and I was like, oh, hey, it's like my other one. And I really like how that one's working. So I wanted to get this one. This one's smaller. I can't actually put it on my head. Um, and then these, these glass balls are just in here because they came with it. But anyway, I ended up telling her that I was only going to pay $15. Number one, because I had to drive all the way out to Roanoke. And that basically was all it was worth to me. I was, I was ready to just walk away from it if she didn't give it. And she was like, okay, well, if you're going to come pick it up at my house, you know, $15. And so I got this for $15. Um, I don't know that I'm going to do anything with the glass marbles besides take them out of there. Um, I don't know if anybody has any ideas of what to do. But anyway, what I think I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to transfer my carnivorous plants into this one because I don't have enough carnivorous plants to really fill that one up. And then I can put them in here and then it will look, you know, more nice. And then I think what I'm going to do, actually, I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do. It's a secret. And when you see the video, you'll understand. So I'm going to do something else with the bigger one. Um, but anyway, this is the reason I went to Roanoke because I wanted to pick that up. And then I ended up going to Greenbrier, which you saw. Obviously, this is the video that this is on the back of. 
Um, and I ended up picking up two things. One of them is this guy, which you guys saw me pick up and basically carry around for the entirety of the video because I knew that I was going to get it. And I'm in love with this plant because it's got the dark black, I mean, it's basically got black vein, or not, the veins, I guess, aren't black, but no. I mean, it's got black markings in along the veins, and then this really, really dark maroon. Like, I almost can't tell in this light. I don't know, if I look at it, the black is actually a different type of shiny than the maroon. So if I look at it with a certain eye toward the light, um, I'm not sure how well you guys can see it, but like, I was just really impressed with the, um, really impressed with the, the very black with the really dark maroon. Um, and since this begonia has come without a name, I have to name it. I was thinking of names on the way home, and I think I'm going to call this begonia eventide. Um, eventide being another word for twilight. Um, just because I'm like, this is like when it's just getting so dark and it's like you can almost see the color, but it's not really there anymore because it's, it's being, I don't know. I figured I got to name it something. I like Eventide. So this is going to be Begonia Eventide. I am naming it myself. This is not like its official name. If anybody knows what this particular Begonia is called, like, go ahead and tell me. I'm perfectly fine with that. But like, a lot of the times you get these hybrids that just... You know, you, you just don't know. So, that that guy. Then I was kind of waiting in line. There was one person ahead of me. And the lady had to go help another customer who was running the cash register. And I had been looking at this plant. Um, I'm pretty sure I looked at this plant like right when I walked in. It was on the video. And I looked at it and I was like, oh, this is so pretty. And then I saw that one and I was like, oh, okay, no, I'm going to be getting that one. And, um, and then when I was looking at this, I was like, no, I really, really like this. Um, it has got a very similar black and maroon pattern on the, the top leaves. The, the older leaves look like they're kind of gr green around the edges with then the black and the black and the maroon, just a lot more faded. I'm not sure this might just be more light. And then this is less light. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm like a super fan of these leaves. And I just, I decided that I had to get it. Um, I just had that really nice um, plant sale. And so I kind of had technically a little bit of extra money. And I just kept. I kept looking back and being like, oh, I really want it. And I just love the fuzzy petioles on there. You know, like it's a rhizomatous begonia, more than likely, as opposed to this one, which is a Rex begonia. I'm going to have to try not to kill it. But this one will probably be a little more hardy because, I don't know, I seem to do better with the rhizomatous begonias um, than the Rex. But I don't know. Maybe I will kill both of them, but um, this one needed some water, so I watered it as soon as I got home, so it's looking a little droopy, but hopefully it's going to perk up now that I have given it more water. Um, and yeah, I'm just really looking forward to this guy and seeing, I don't know, what colors I end up getting, whether the leaves look more like that or more like this as it goes. Um, and I mean, it's already a really, really big plant. Um, and then Townside Gardens, they, like I said earlier, they tend to have really, the prices are really kind of, um, like all their begonias were like 10 more dollars, like this side, this size would have been, because this was $9.99, this would have been $19.99 there, and this was 30 bucks, um, when this was 20 at um, Greenbrier. And so I tend to not really have any interest in buying stuff that's there, though sometimes they do have stuff that's a little more uncommon, but they had a whole tray of these red marantas. And you guys will see, um, in the video that I haven't posted yet, but that will be posted, um, 
on Sunday probably, because this one's gonna post on Thursday, that I was at the Lowe's or the Home Depot. I don't remember which one. I was at one of the big box stores and they had one of these and it was a big hanging basket. It was probably a six inch with this plant and it was only $11 and I passed on it partially because it was so big and I didn't really think I needed it. And then I saw this and I was like, and this one was $5. So the one that I saw was probably four times the size for only twice the price. But part of me wanted to support the little local place because I mean, they just can't buy stuff. Number one, they just can't buy stuff as cheap as a Lowe's can. And I actually am kind of happier with it being the smaller plant because like, don't get me wrong, I like my bigger plants, but they take up a lot of space. I mean, that kind of makes sense. The bigger plants take up more space, but I, I kind of, I, I don't know. I'm just happier with having just a little guy of this. And then eventually it will grow bigger and it will grow bigger over time. So I will have time to get used to it being bigger as opposed to just bringing home a huge plant um, and not knowing where to put it. I really don't know where I would have put that huge Marantha had I gotten it. So, not the best deal money-wise, but I'm happy. I'm happy with the purchase. And really, that's that's the important thing, right? Um, you know, willing to pay a little bit extra to help keep the, those local places alive. Because as much as, you know, Lowe's and Home Depot are getting better plants now, I guess, with the Trending Tropicals collection. And, and I mean, some people have been finding fairly uncommon plants you know not me obviously because i live out in the boonies but some some home depot and lowe's are getting in some really nice plants so you know we want to support the little places even though the big box stores are doing an okay job um and you know i did sell some plants and it's not a bad idea to then put some of that money back into the local plant industry that kind of makes sense right anyway so I'm going to let these guys settle in. I got, oh, that's right. I've been thinking of names for this one. I think I'm going to call this one Black Raspberry. Um, unless the leaves start turning back this other color and then I'll have to think of another. Because this one's like completely green with silver. With silver. And then this one is green with silver that has turned pink. Whoop. And then has the black here as opposed to green. So, I mean, there's a bunch of, but if they come out this color, this is going to be begonia black raspberry. You heard it here first. And I know what the name of this is, so I'm not going to change the name of this. There's a red Maranta. So, it's kind of a, I've always seen these. I've kind of, it's one of those plants that I've kind of grown to like as I've seen more people have it. I think it's really cute. And I like the red on the back side. I'm not a fan of the lemon lime ones. It's just too bright, but I like this red, so... Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and like this video. Um, you know, let me know what plants you saw that you might have been interested in getting. Um, you know, which ones I passed by where you're like, oh my God, why did you pass that by? Um, I always do that for other people's videos. You guys do that for my videos? You probably do. Um, <laughs> and uh, thanks for going along with me so that I had somebody to talk to. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.